hey brother, I'm gonna slam you out the ring and then bake you a cake. What? That's all I could think of. I just had chocolate cake. smells all right what's up everybody i hope everybody's having a great 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 day let's get right to the nintendo switch news for this video so many dope news items but before we get started give this video a thumbs up bro let's get it over 500 likes bro all right bro you talking about putting a smile on my face a couple of new games coming to the Switch. The first one, Retro Mania Wrestling has been announced for the Nintendo Switch. Ooh! They say that this game is the spiritual successor to WrestleFest and will be coming quarter one, 2020. Bro, when they announced Pro Wrestling coming to the Switch NES online services. <coughs> oh, I was so lit, bro. This was my childhood, man. I was a huge fan of WWF wrestling and just wrestling in general growing up as a kid. I don't really keep track of wrestling um now, but man, I still play me a good old school wrestling game, bro. Who knows about this on the Sega Genesis WWF WrestleMania? This used to be my jam, bro. And so Wrestle Retromania, uh, Retromania is coming to the Nintendo Switch day one. By there are some cool features of the game. Not gonna go into everything, but the game will have 12 to 16 unique, distinct, playable wrestlers at launch, and. They're going to add more via DLC, two to eight player local multiplayer, and online to be determined. This game has online, easy day one pickup, day one pickup. Wrestling against the computer is cool, but wrestling against your homies that are all over the um, US or whatever, that's what we really want. And so online, fingers crossed that they um, add online to this game but it looks dope. They're gonna have multiple entrances for each. Bro, one of the most hype moments of wrestling is when the dudes walking down the ring all big and tough and they play their music. Bro, the wrestler with the most hyped entrance in wrestling history, in my opinion, is The Undertaker, bro. Where the whole arena goes dark and you just hear that ding. Bro, you lose it every time. He went He went through that whole biker phase. Nah, but old school Undertaker, lit. And so, Retro Mania Wrestling coming to a Nintendo Switch there near you. Day one, bye. Speaking of wrestling. Bro, and remember this rumor that WWE 2K20 could possibly be coming to the Switch. I reported on this a couple weeks ago that Base.com, there was a listing for a Switch version of WWE 2K20. And so hopefully they fixed the atrocity that was WWE 2K18. Maybe they just took a year off to better know the Switch engine and better optimize the game because 2K makes dope basketball games for the Switch. We're getting a demo for NBA 2K20 this year, bro. And so, um, definitely, definitely, definitely. If WWE 2K20 comes out on the Switch, also would be a day one buy. I'll still wrestle in some WWE 2K18, bro. I'll play it. I, I, could, I, could, I could get through the frame rates. We'll do it, bro. All right, next news item EA is being rumored to have a press conference 
August 20th at Gamescom. Boy, <coughs> why is this hype? Invites for Garden Warfare 3 have been sent out, boy. We could get the announcement. It's, it's pretty much um, out there now. Garden Warfare 3 is coming. Bro, we could get an announcement this um, soon in August and launching by the end of 2019. That's what the rumors are saying. By the end of 2019 and... The Nintendo Switch would be the perfect platform for this game to come out on, bro. We just had the final Splatfest in Splatoon. We're going to talk about some Splatoon uh, in a minute. Shout out to the homie Eric Smith. I'm going to talk about it in, in a minute. But this would be the perfect platform. Bro, I love this game on my Xbox 360. Motion aiming. This game just screams Nintendo Switch. EA didn't give us any um, Call of Duty. Give us Garden Warfare, bro. This would be better than Call of Duty for me, bro. I would be on this game heavy if it came to the Switch. Because invites have been sent out to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players um, for to beta test Garden Warfare 3. That's what everyone is speculating the title of the game. It's like a code name. Um, Picnic, I think, was the code name. But we all know that it's Garden Warfare 3. I'm thinking they're just going to use those platforms to test it. But surprise us with a Nintendo Switch launch. Come on, EA. Don't drop the ball on this one, EA. Y'all already dropped the ball with Madden on the Switch. Not having Madden on the Switch the last two years has been a big mistake for EA, in my opinion. Give us this game. This game will probably... I'm, quote me on this would probably sell the best on the Nintendo Switch mark my words all right next news item DC Universe bro I am loving Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 by the time this game comes out I would have already beaten Marvel Ult Ultimate Alliance 3 we got Storm and Black Panther Wakanda Storm is so OP in that game, bro. It's not even it's not even funny, bro, how, how much powerful Storm is. My all-time favorite superhero, Storm. But the um, executive producer for DC On Online has talked about the possibility of having this game cross-play. It's coming to the Switch, but it could possibly be cross-play with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One owners. Check out the name of the executive producer, Leah Bowser's no lie Bowser's just like Doug Bowser, but this one is Bowser's with an S and They said that their goal is to have crossplay But first they just want to make sure it has a smooth launch make sure online is working and they want to make sure that every Version of the game is on par with the other platform. So they're taking their time with it but crossplay is a possibility for DC Universe Online on the Nintendo Switch, according to the developers. All right, next news item. This is just a reminder, a reminder, a reminder. If you've been getting Nintendo game vouchers or you've been um, thinking about getting Nintendo game vouchers, the program ends on July 31st. For Nintendo Switch Online members, the voucher program ends on um, July 31st. And... I, it was pretty cool for me. What it is is you could buy two, you could buy two game vouchers for a hundred bucks. So in essence, you're saving <coughs> ten bucks per game that you get, and so you get two games instead of paying sixty dollars for two Nintendo Switch games that are included in the program. You spend a hundred bucks. You end up I'm saving twenty bucks um, in the long run. So if there's two Nintendo Switch games you plan on getting in 2019 at least two games i would say just it'll hurt you right now but get that 100 bucks for the two game vouchers but you save money in the end if it wasn't worth it i'll tell you dudes brah nintendo scamming us bro but this is actually a good deal um i've gotten i've gotten four vouchers um so far i've gotten 
I forgot the first two games I got with it, but these last two games I got Fire Emblem Three Houses, Straight Fire, and I'm gonna, I still have a voucher for Astral Chains, so voucher system ends July 31st, and the last news item, the homie, Eric Smith, Eric Smith, he's the black dude in the middle, <laughs> he is leaving Nintendo after 10 years with Nintendo Treehouse um, he's been like the executive producer or something on localization or something um, working with localization hey shout out to JC too I met JC at E3 he told me Link could shield surf before anybody else knew but um, Eric he's leaving Nintendo what's so dope about him is he's been responsible for most of the dialogue between Callie and Marie and Pearl and Marina. Dude, if you've been a fan of my channel for a minute, you know Splatoon is my favorite online shooter. Love, love, love Splatoon. And the dialogue has been hilarious. Bro, every time, well not every time, but most time I read this, like a black dude wrote this. <laughs> it was so funny. Some of the stuff that they, that was being said was hilarious, man. Um, and so, shout out to the homie Eric Smith. Um, I tweeted. If you follow me on Twitter, I posted something with his Twitter hashtag. So you could go over and show him some love. Just tell him that you appreciate it. Especially if you're a Splatoon fan, man. Go and show the man some love. All right. And last but not least... I am giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite before I end this video. We'll be giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite to a lucky member, bro. Just join the OGC. You join a dope Nintendo Switch gaming community. The um the the information is in, is in the description of this video on how to be become a part of epicness. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know. But before you go. Bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We up. Bro, 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 bro. Shout out to Eric Smith. Fist bump, bro. You gotta let it explode.